Well, considering that Billboard's an American company, it was really only a matter of time before we had to look at a country ish song. Today we'll be looking at Bebe Rexa's Meant to Be, featuring the Florida Georgia line. Bebe Rexa. Born Blata Rexa, Bebe Rexa is an American songwriter, artist, and record producer. In terms of her singing, she is most notable for the songs. Yeah. It's just me, myself, and I. Solo ride until I die. Cause I got me for life. Got me for life. As well as. Name of life. Florida Georgia Line. Florida Georgia Line is an American country singing duo of lead vocalist Tyler Hubbard and backup vocalist Brian Kelly. Their most known songs are and makes you wanna feel the ten percent down. Why pick a friend's house on this dirt? background. Meant to Be was originally released on October 24th, 2017. It charted in the beginning of November at number 61 and has since risen to number two as of the end of March. Meant to Be is the lead single off of her EP, All Your Fault Part 2. Two, released at the beginning of August last year. Joining Meant to Be was the single Bebe Rexa and only Tyler Hubbard from Florida Georgia Line are credited as writers, as well as David Garcia and Josh Miller, with Will Shire handling the production. As mentioned earlier, Bebe Rexa is also a well-known songwriter, having helped write the songs I'm just relaying what the voice in my head saying, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just I'm friends, friends with the, the monster that's on my bed. And has some songwriting hits to his name as well, given they're mostly in the country genre. His most popular tracks that he's helped with are hope you get lonely tonight. and Girl, let's keep burning it down, burning it down, burning it down. David Garcia is more known for his work in the country and Christian music genre, given there are a couple of tracks that he's written that have made it into the pop charts as well, those being yeah! Yeah. You don't wanna make this work, you just wanna make this work. You want me to listen to you, but you don't ever hear my words. She Josh Miller has a couple up there as well, the most prominent being And raise a few more girls like you. Which he actually worked on with David Garcia. Finally, we have Wilshire. I got nothing. I don't know if this is a man, a woman, a group of people, a studio, but I, I couldn't get any consensus on it. I spent two days looking for anything, and I got nothing. So we're gonna call this their first pop hit. Regardless, Meant to Be is released solely by Warner Brothers. Form. Meant to Be is listed as a country pop song, is in B-flat major, is about 2 minutes 45 seconds, is in 4-4 time, and is about 77 beats per minute. The track opens with the piano figure that plays through most of the song in varying ways. We then get Florida Georgia Line's Tyler Hubbard with the first verse. Baby, lay on back and relax. Followed by him doing the first chorus. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. We then have Baby Rexa's verse. I don't mean to be so uptight. Which is then followed by the chorus, which involves Baby Rexa and both parts of Florida Georgia Line. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. They all then continue to give us the post chorus. So come on, ride. With me, ride with me. We then have a bridge between Bebe Rexa and Tyler Hubbard. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Then everybody's back in again for the final chorus. But if it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. We then have this nice division of back and forth between Florida Georgia Line and Bebe Rexa for the outro. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, if it's meant to be. 
piano. The piano has three prominent figures. This first one it plays during the verses, going B flat major, C minor, G minor, E flat major, and B flat major. The second pattern that it plays in the chorus replaces the C minor chord with an F major chord with an A in the bass, giving it a more of a descending harmonic line. The last pattern it plays is done at the end of every chorus phrase. Notice how it's now half note figures and that C minor chord comes back and it ends on E flat major as opposed to B flat major. You're gonna want to pay attention to that because pretty much every other instrument has some sort of change that it does for that section. Electric guitar. The electric guitar doesn't actually do much. It just has this initial B flat, which it then bends up to a D at various parts throughout the song. Acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar is actually much more prominent than the electric guitar. It opens with this going back and forth between chords and finger picking. This continues into the chorus, given it's doing more finger picking and only does a chord at the end. Finally, during that one section I told you about earlier, it does just do strumming for the end of the phrase in the chorus. Pad. The pad, just like the electric guitar, doesn't actually do much and just does this D, E flat, D figure. But again, during that one part at the end of each chorus, it changes it up a little. Biggity buggity bip bop bass. Okay, now you're just getting stupid with it. The bass only plays during the chorus and just does this dropping B flat G, E flat, B flat figure. But it changes it up and becomes a bit more interesting at the end of each chorus phrase like I keep saying all of them do. Florida Georgia Lines verse. Hubbard opens the song starting at F, always going up to B flat before dropping to C and then bending it back up to D. Baby, lay on back and relax. Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. He opens the next phrase the same, but this time he's focusing on the lower B flat as opposed to the higher one he did earlier. No need to go nowhere fast. Let's enjoy right here where we at. In the second half of his verse, he's much higher in his range, and he does this quintessential blues flourish at the end. Who knows where this road is supposed to lead? We got nothing but time. Again, he then starts it the same, but changes it halfway through to give it a bit more variety. As long as you ride here next to me, everything's gonna be alright. Baby Rexa's verse. Rexa opens her verse similarly to Hubbard's, but notice that she does not do as many pitch bends as Hubbard did. I don't mean to be so uptight, but my heart's been hurt a couple times. She then changes it drastically, focusing on this low C B flat figure. By a couple guys that didn't treat me right. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. She then gives us these up and down figures between G and D. Cause I'm tired of the fake love. Show me what you made up. Boy, make me believe. Hubbard then comes in with a transitionary figure that starts at B flat and goes all the way down to that low F. Whoa, hold up, girl, don't you know you're beautiful? And it's easy to see. Chorus. In the first chorus, Hubbard just opens up going back between this B flat and D. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. After repeating that, he then changes it up, focusing on that F and B flat. So won't you ride with me, ride with me, see where this thing goes. He then returns to the previous figure, given the ending is altered. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, if it's meant to be. Those of you who pay close attention will notice that I dropped the octave when talking about Hubbard's chorus as opposed to Hubbard's verse. And the reason I did that is because it makes more sense to when I go on to show what happens in the next chorus, which is three-part harmonies. You'll notice now that the melodies are a lot more simplistic because they're all singing individual parts that need to match up harmonically. And the more complicated you make the individual lines, well, the harder it gets. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. They add in some interesting things though, like notice at the beginning of this part that's only two singers before they hop back into three again. So won't you ride? 
Given they still follow the form that was laid out by Hubbard in the beginning, and they repeat the figure that was done at the beginning with an altered ending. Post chorus. The post chorus changes things up with only the two members of Florida Georgia Line singing the main melody and then having Rexa on top adding some flourishes. So come on, ride with me, ride. Again, Florida Georgia Line continues on singing the rest of the post chorus while Rex out changes her melody at the end going down instead of up. So come on, ride with me, ride with me. Bridge. In the bridge, we have this lovely divided triplet figure going back between Hubbard and Rexa. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Outro. The outro continues this figure that was done in the bridge. First going Hubbard, then Rexa, then Hubbard and Kelly, before everyone sings together at the end. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Yeah, it's a country song, but it's at the top of the charts, so it warranted me looking at it. Regardless, I hope after watching through this, its popularity is more I remember when I was listening through this, I thought this was going to be an easy analysis. It didn't sound terribly difficult. And then they started singing three-part harmonies, and I was like, oh, for fuck. Ride with me, ride with me. Come on.